Hi everyone and welcome back to Exploring Art with Alessandro. After learning how art developed in the previous videos, today we are going to look at one of the most beautiful examples of this amazing evolution. I'm talking about Baroque or Barocco in Italian and this is just an introduction to a new series of videos but it's going to be really useful to appreciate better the masterpieces we are going to look at. I chose Barocco because it's one of the best examples of art completeness. The reason is that the goal of this style was to use the movement, exuberant details, contrast, intense colors, grandeur to achieve a sense of astonishment. To reach that, it meant to push visual arts to their limits, but that has been possible just thanks to the ability of some geniuses that have been able to combine the different elements of art to reach some amazing results that we are going to discover together. First of all, why the name Baroque? We don't know, so we can skip this question maybe, um, just kidding, but actually we are not 100% sure about the real origin of the word. There are a few theories about it. A first theory is from the Portuguese term Barocco, a flawed pearl used in both Portugal and France already before the 18th century, but actually before that already around the 16th century, the medieval Latin word Barocco was used to describe anything that was absurdly complex. Another theory is that the name comes from the Italian painter Federico Barocci, who is considered one of the first Baroque painters and one of the finest, reason why I'm going to talk about him soon in one of the next videos. As you can see, we are not really sure about the origin of the name. What we are really sure is that the style started in 1600 in Rome, reason why often you can hear me using the word Barocco in Italian and not Baroque in English, and rapidly it started to spread to France, Spain, Portugal, and then also to Austria, Southern Germany and Russia, until the 1740. Why Barocco started in Rome and why exactly in that period of time? Once again, in art, context is fundamental. Um, Catholic Church actually encouraged Barocco to fight the Protestantism austerity. Historically and artistically, we have just got out from the Renaissance, a style based on harmony and rationality an amazing heritage for art and culture, but a tough period for the Catholic Church's values. A reading the Council of Trent held to face the Protestant Reformation crisis, the Catholic Church understood that needed to show its strength and also a new image. And what was the best way to do that? A new art style. A new art style able to show magnificence, but at the same time able to move from the rationality of the Renaissance to a more emotional level of the Catholic Church, able to touch the churchgoers' souls and consciences and create empathy. And that's exactly the heart of Barocco and the reason why Barocco was so successful and the perfect tool. Barocco was perfect also to show a new image of Christ, a more pained, bleeding, wounded Christ to increase the compassion among the people. One of the main features of Baroque was to create a sort of scenography and it didn't matter if it was inside architecture or painting or even sculpture but there was this goal of create a sense of astonishment in the viewer, like if you are in a theater. So this new art style was able to push feelings and emotions to an empathy level amplified by the magnificence of the works of art that we are going to discover together in the next videos. And Barocco has been so successful to last 140 years, not just in the Catholic countries, but also in the countries where the Protestant Reformation was stronger. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications so you are not going to miss any of the next videos of the series. And see you soon.